Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I want to make a balloon dip, balloon kiss, balloon medallion. It has some different names. At the end it's with a balloon. That's the core technique here, however you want to call it. Um, at the beginning of my channel I experimented with different types of balloon dips and how to make the best flowers. In January last year I did this one, uh, which was originally an experiment to see how good it works on a dry background basically and that worked really nicely so I really uh, I really liked it. You can check that out if you like to and today I go big and I make like a tree. Uh, it's not totally going to be like cherry blossoms but I stick to the um, pink, rose, purple a tiny bit of gold eventually so it's going to be a very soft look for the trees the back i just uh it's just blue with a bit of yellow and i hope that this turns out cool for my little nephew well he's not really little anymore so he won't like it if i say that but like all aunties uh they always stay little right so i'm gonna start with this now i'm gonna make little puddles and then there is my balloony uh, keep in mind if you do something like that you always need a few clean paper towels or something like that to wipe off the balloon in between otherwise you really pollute the look a bit okay let's give it a go so i also want to say for this looks it's really yeah i would say do it without silicone or just in one of the colors you can put some silicone uh, i think that, that just looks better and it's absolutely beneficial to have it in bottles with a small opening otherwise you can try to use a spoon because it's really nice to have it just on one spot the right amount that you want you can pre-puddle everything let's say already put everything everywhere but because you're not necessarily sure how big it will go that can also be a little turn out a little bit weird so perhaps go in bigger, bigger areas and then later on put some other puddles in between where you still want it. Of course, you can make bigger ones and smaller ones, ones just by, by pushing more or pushing just really little.
Okay, so this turned out uh, really nice. What you can see that is always a matter of also how you layer it. This one was a really a lot of paint with a lot of red, so it gives a really nice contrast. Some other are very light pink. I would have preferred a little bit more contrast, but it depends really what you put in there and how much. So, um, yeah, then also wipe it off for sure. But I always wish I could cut some out and replicate them on another spot, but so, because some are really, really cool. So you can see there is also always cells because you pop basically air bubbles also. But you can also put silicone if you want. Um, so this is really nice. Always a little bit difficult to see with the glare. I'm going to post the dry painting in the community or on my Facebook group or Facebook page. So if you want, you can look that back. And I hope to see you back soon.